Now, this is Obama to ban importation of ammo, magazines, and accessories without congressional approval. You know, he doesn't need congressional approval to launch his kinetic actions, and so to speak. So I'm not surprised at all that he would need uh, congressional approval for this. For this. So let's take a look. What the U.N. Arms Trade Treaty passed without media fanfare by 154 countries would do is restrict the global trade of, among other things, small arms and light weapons. Opponents of the treaty argue that the loopholes within the new international framework of the global gun control may make it illegal for Americans to purchase and import firearms manufactured outside of the United States. Now, we'll skip down past that big block of... Uh, that big quote down there, and with the stroke of a pen and without any consent of Congress, ATF bureaucrats could make any gun part accessory, including magazines or ammunition, that were originally manufactured or perhaps even those designed for military use, no longer legal for importation or civilian use. So that is to say, if you have a, uh, let's just use what it says right here in the article, if you have a magazine or even ma ammunition that's manufactured outside of the United States, this could potentially block that. Meanwhile, we see the tighter restrictions on our gun manufacturers here at home. Many st uh, states passing hard legislation on gun manufacturers, forcing them to move to other states, and they want this cut off, completely cut off, from getting international things into our country. So definitely be aware of that. Uh, like I said, it, he's going to use executive orders and other things to bypass Congress. And we've seen him do these things before, so definitely be aware that he's up to no good again. Now we'll move on to this article. Dan Badandi, rock star Dan Badandi, Secret Service tried to block press from bombing questions. Now those who may be new viewers, you can see it right there. That is the governor right there. Yeah, you can see him right there making that, <laughs> that goofy looking face. That is a, a face after being asked a question by Dan Badandi. The guy is dumbfounded. Can't believe that somebody would dare ask a real question like, why were the loudspeakers telling people not to uh, not to freak out and telling everybody to stay calm before the bomb went off, but then there were no bombs or, you know, there was there was no bomb drill. And you can see the guy right there in that OTS. We only, yeah, that's the guy right there. The guy in the purple tie who, if we scroll down, we can see him hanging out with Obama as well. Yeah, we keep scrolling down. That's a good look at his face right there. And you can see him. There he is right there behind President Barack Obama. So it has led to speculation by many people, including myself. This guy may be Secret Service or some other higher up, some type of Fed. So actually, now let's go to that piece from Dan Badandi. when things like this get out and, and these guys are wrong. wrong I think I addressed that. No, thank you. I think I addressed that question by saying it by saying the only photos that should be officially relied upon in this investigation are those. There are investigations. Any uh, it's it's we're aware of the lies, we're going to expose your lies. Again, the, the world is aware of false flags. Uh, okay, we're not we'll afraid of Okay, we've got a constitutional we right. We know about the false flags. We'll okay, we're aware of it. Infowars.com. He's an American citizen. That's right. We, have a we still have a constitution. Um, they go on Infowars.com. You see contractors, private contractors, folks, with black factories. Show them the rooftop photos. They were on the rooftops. They were all over the bomb scene, folks. So you're saying these are the suspects? The yes. three subsets on These the roof. These are contractors hired by uh, our own government folks. Right here, Infowars.com, you can see the pictures. Those are lies. They deported the Saudi guy right away. The Saudi suspect was deported right out of there. They're not telling you the truth, folks. They're lying. Well, that was my first time seeing that video. Dan was pretty bold. He was talking right into that guy's face, that Secret Service guy. And actually, after this break, after this segment, I'll have Dan Badandi on. We did a pre-taped interview earlier today, so stay tuned after our break for that. That was great. That was, <laughs> let's go, Dan. 
All right, we'll move on now. Women mistakenly shot at in Christopher Dorner manhunt get $4.2 million. And I will say those women deserve every penny. The only problem with this, you know, it's taxpayer money. I, the women still deserve it, though. But meanwhile, you know, I really wish they had taken out the paychecks of the guys who, you know, were shooting like cowboys at these two at these two women. So let's take a look here. The city of Los Angeles will pay 4.2 million to the women injured when the police mistakenly opened fire on their truck during the manhunt for Christopher Dorner, a disgruntled ex-LAPD police officer who killed four people in a rampage. Now keep in mind they opened fire on two women driving a truck that did not match the description of Christopher Dorner's truck. So let's say, you know, I, don't, I can't remember what the particular make and model was, but let's say you're driving a, uh, a Ford, you know, a, a Ford Ranger, and the suspected truck was a Chevy Silverado, but, you know, they opened, opened fire on you, and you're like, hold on, I'm not even driving the same truck that this guy was allegedly driving. So the ladies get their settlement, the $4.2 million. Now, I do believe it still has to be uh, approved by their city council. I'm sure the city council will because just the uh, if they if they take this to trial, it's gonna be a very expensive trial. So I'm pretty sure the ladies will get the the money that they deserve, and hopefully it'll keep the LAPD from just shooting at random at people who don't even match the description vaguely. Visit infowars.com and prisonplanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.